I got something. Mm -hmm. Dude, I got something. Where? The bat? Yes, there is. There is something big right there. It's straight in from that tree. Ready? Woo! You just do an edge search from the road. I'm going for game. I'm going to go that big mother trucker. I'm going to wrestle him to the ground and be like, what's your deal? <laughs> You all got excited for what now? No. Do <laughs> you want us to bring you a decoration for your tree the next time we come? Burlington, Wisconsin is a hot spot for paranormal and unexplained phenomenon. Right down the road from where we are now is Bray Road. Bray Road is home to numerous encounters with the Bray Road Beast, a dogman type cryptid. We are here in the haunted woods today because of multiple reports of strange phenomenon including Bigfoot, fairies, trolls, portals, and other unexplained events in this area. So the CAPS team has come here to experience firsthand what this woods has to offer. Our investigation into Burlington, Wisconsin began the night of July 20th, 2019. Armed with a video camera and a few powerful flashlights, my longtime friend and paranormal investigator Derek and I took a drive to the location where a lot of strange activities have been reported, including a strange mist that is said to cause time anomalies, numerous UFO, Bigfoot, and Dogman sightings. Not exactly sure what we would see or find, our plan was to drive up and down some of the back roads and see if we could spot anything in the woods or the sky. We decided to pull over and park for a while in the haunted woods parking lot. As soon as we parked the car, we began hearing small twigs snapping and the sounds of something moving through the trees, possibly in our direction. I pulled out my high-powered searchlight and began sweeping the tree lines, starting at the road and moving along the hill towards the trail. It's not like I heard rustling, like something playing with the bush, you know? Yeah, it seemed like there's something up in the bushes there. My family got what? Oh, Jesus Christ. If there's anything in there, this will see it. Yeah, I was sitting here looking here, and all of a sudden, out of this ear, it sounded like something's like messing with the bush. Closer. You hear the howling out there? Yeah. There's something nearby then. What was that? I heard the wood knocker. You see that? What was that? What? Did you see that? What was that? I saw something dark from your light. From like right to the left. It was big. It was on its hind legs and it went <laughs> away from your light. Did you see the trees move there? Yes. And there's not even wind. There. Yeah. That's not normal. Because if you look, there's no wind going off right now. I just heard something. I think someone was running in the back woods in there. You hear that? And there's this galore out here. And there's not even wind. I don't understand how that's. Alright, I'm officially freaked out. That was big and it was right there. Like it, I saw something in it. Like it yeah. ran right, right to the left. It ran that way. Or left to right. Right? Unfortunately, like a lot of first-hand accounts, 
We only have audio evidence of what we saw. Highlighted in this photo taken during the day is the branch area we saw move. To describe what we saw, it looked like something had been leaning on it. When the light hit it and it pulled back into the tree line, it caused the branch to jolt. We hung around for a while after this, but never saw anything else. Whatever had been there had moved off, and we didn't have any other activity. We went home and started planning a full team investigation of the woods for two weeks later. Our first stop was the hill where we saw the tree move. We found humanoid footprints in the ground right behind the area. Although on the small side for a Bigfoot, measuring only 11 inches long, still interesting to find them in the spot where something had been watching us. During our first day investigation, we set up a trail cam at this site, but got nothing. We also performed a night reenactment of what we saw to try and figure out what else it could have been. Stop. Yeah. Yes. Yep, that's the one. Yeah. Right. That's exactly what it looked like. Okay. But it wasn't done by humans, though. Maybe. And it wasn't too far in there. Mm -mm. No, but if they were on the other side of the tree, mm -hmm. it'd be completely concealed. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I just started like this. I just started going across. And it got right there and it shook and then it was gone. Could a bird have like flown out of that tree when you shined the light on it? It wasn't shaking it like that. Yep. But I also didn't hear it at all. Huh. From over there, you couldn't hear it shake at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, that was still a good throttle. Mm -hmm. You probably shook it twice as long as what happened. It was just one. Yep. Yeah. Our semi-reluctantly fearless field team made their way into the very heart of the haunted woods, armed with a few high-tech toys to make finding whatever lay within a little easier. First up, a FLIR thermal imaging camera, used to detect differences in temperatures and help detect anomalies in the dark or things that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Unfortunately, the model we have can only take photos and not video. Here you can see some examples of humans and animals we took for comparison at a local zoo. Next are infrared night vision binoculars, able to see long distances in complete darkness or use the infrared during day to see things that may not be visible with a normal light spectrum. They can shoot video as well as take pictures. We also have an array of K2 and electromagnetic field detectors, or EMF for short. These measure the amount of electromagnetic energy in the area. There is always a small amount of this energy around, but technology such as microwaves, televisions, and cell phones give off higher levels as well as power lines. Some paranormal and anomaly researchers believe that these entities feed off of this energy and can use it to manifest and interact with our plane of existence. There are many areas found in nature that can have high electromagnetic fields and areas such as Indian burial mounds and other places have high spiritual energy. Some believe that you can use these types of meters to communicate with entities or spirits by asking them yes or no questions. We'll be using ours during these investigations for all of these purposes. We enter the forest with an open mind and open to whatever wishes to interact with us. You want to keep going or you want to head back? Keep going. Oops. Keep going. I'm game, guys. Well, I hit a tree, that's why I was. There's a beer can. A what? A beer can. A beer can? Right over there, in between the brush. Yep, it's right there. Sorry. There was a little trail back there that went yep. straight up to oh. the top. Kind of like this one off to your right.
right here. I hear rocks. What was that? Mm Okay. Seems hard. like as soon as we crossed that thing, stuff started to get weird. I had weird back there, but you guys didn't I want to go up to that ridge. Here's the thing is, I got, I saw, I saw how it was, like, it was a yellow, yellow, which color? Oh, that doesn't matter. I got nothing heat. I got a cold spot up there. Which is weird because nothing else is, is that cold around here. Would it be cold? Could be. Just think about it. Mm -hmm. There's something straight up in this area, mm -hmm. and there's a couple little dots of something like maybe the tree is blocking it or something. Mm -hmm. But there's something cold up there. But what? The, what I don't know. That's the question. You want to go back and hit that other trail that goes up? Kind of, but if you look, there's one that runs straight up here, and it goes right underneath that arch. Did you come over here? Okay. go back to where you came. This gets tight. Yeah. There's like a tree that runs here, and then if you look up there, there's like a tree that fell down and created an arch. I mean, I'm game for any one of them. That's really tight, you know. Less traveled.
But I think if we went up to the see right there, top of the screen. You see that? Yeah. It's just cold. Look how dark that is. That's just a brush down here. Well, see here it's cold too. But because you got this is more warm. Huh. Or not. But it's a lot colder than right. everything else around it. I almost say let's try to head up that way. See what's at the top of the ridge. Do you make it up this way? Yeah. So what is the farm from here? Huh? Is that farm on the other side of the water? Yeah, it's going to have to be on that side of the tree line. I don't see this as a path. I don't know. It's just moss covered. You can head back down that way, go up the pathway. I think that's a better option. Head back, find the trail that goes up and head up that way. That's what I told about that was weird. Is it so cold out there? Who's that? That crash came from where we were originally, that set of woods. Because here at the parking lot, we're going to come to the top of this hill and that's going to look straight out at the parking lot across at us. Which means whatever's over there, the farmer's field is up over there and it would be over there. Little kid? A what? You hear the thumping too, like drums? I I haven't heard drums, but I feel like. They were doing it when they were whistling. Yeah, I heard that. It sounds like it was just like static or bush. That means they don't like us here. Does it mean come in and visit? <laughs> or was it like a rhythmic drum sound? See, I didn't hear that. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's like boom, boom. Like someone, like, like the American was playing the drum rhythmic sound. Really? Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's when I was like this first, and I was listening, and then you heard the and it was from one side, right. and then the other side twice, and, and then you there. all looked up the hill, and then the big crash back on the second side. But he, what it was is he was looking on that side, and everything went quiet on that side where he was looking. It's, <laughs> but, but, it's but the thumping sounds were um, what we heard. Yep. Thumping, and then you hear the tree. Yep. That's what I said. That's the combination. Yep. I mean, if you just would have heard a tree fall, it's all okay. <laughs> Anybody? Take it to the top of the ridge. Maybe like 20 feet out from the tree, that way from the trees. There's a brown spot. I think it's a deer because I think it's moving. Do you see it? It's probably behind that cattail. The middle cattail. Holy fuck. Not this time, the first, no, time. the first time. Did you hear the growl over here? No. 
Mm-hmm. I did. I didn't want to. I was loud. Yeah. Oh. See, that's what I heard up on the other side when you guys went further. And that crowd, Jesus. <coughs> it could have been. Thunder? Oh, it was thunder in the airplane coming out that way. That growl? But that last, that last one wasn't. That was. That one that hit you? Yeah. Yeah, that one wasn't there. <laughs> Doesn't want us in there? Well, that's the only way we can get back. Yeah, it's a, that's an airplane. Yeah, it wasn't a rumble. It was a. Yeah. <laughs> The hill on the other side. Okay, we'll that way. What was you say? There? Next one? <laughs> Next? What, that way? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Investigation had just begun when out of nowhere we had something thrown at us from just off the main trail. We continued on to the area where during the day we had experienced the loud branch crack and things moving through the growth towards us, deciding to see how far back we could go before the marsh overtook the path. Watch your step. Okay. There's a big log here. Oh, dude. It's getting muddy. Yeah. Wanna come back? Hey, uh, hey. What? Turn your what's that? Look for uh, prints down here. Guys. Um, yeah, cause I got one. Where? Right there. Oh shit! I have like a dog print right here. Dude, he got a big footprint over here. Side one too. That's a deer. Yeah, but look at that one. If that's a deer, that's like a fawn. Yeah, but over here is something else. There's a human, uh, humanoid footprint like that back here too. Go bye bye for a second. I don't know what that is. That looks like one of our boots. Mm -hmm. That is. Maybe yeah. that one then? Yeah, there's a footprint up here though, dude. Don't move, Derek. It's right up. Okay, right here. There, right there. That could be a boot. It looks like it has toes, though. Where? Right there. Yeah. Hey. I think we're going any farther into this just because it's way too mucky. Yeah. Leaving the mud of the marsh behind, we headed up to the top of the ridge where I began picking up two objects moving around on the thermal imaging camera. I got something. Mm -hmm. Dude, I got something. Where? There's the something. bat? There's something to the right. Yes. 
There is. There is something big right there. It's straight in from that tree back there. And there's There's something right there too. Huh? This thing was people big. It was right there. I can't find it now though. But it was big and it was moving. We moved further down the trail to try and get a better look at what was further back in the trees. Whatever was close to us when I turned the thermal on it seemed to move back or just disappear. Shortly though up the path I caught sight of the creature on the ridge again and managed to get three images of it with the FLIR. You see it moving? Mm -hmm. Yellow? Mm -hmm. That's way up because look, this goes down. Yeah. So it'd be it's getting foggy out here. Yeah, it is. Start heading back. Yeah. We started heading back. One eye on the path and one eye out for whatever had been watching us from the trees. When Derek's EMF meter caught a high energy field right as I found something on the FLIR. I just got like... There, there. Dude, big. See it? No. Look at that. Well, I know, but I don't see it. That's not residual. Oh and it's moving. Nothing. Is it me or is it just standing there? Now it is. Now it looks like it went down on the ground. He crouched. During our second night investigation, I asked Ethan to stand in about the same area to where we captured the large creature to take a comparison shot. This one right here, a little bit farther over. Nope, nope, right there, but move over. Like stand half behind it. Oh, yeah, okay. Stay. Okay, you can come back. Comparison. Yep. Based on the comparison shots, I would say whatever was in there was farther back in and about the same size or larger. We decided to leave a trail cam overlooking the low trail as well as the connecting trail and a small clearing. This is the middle of the area where we had the most activity, and we would leave the camera there running for three weeks. Okay, we're coming out by the power lines now. Yeah, I've seen your lights all the way through this woods. I had 
a bright yellow, sometimes red, light straight ahead of me by the tree for like the last half hour. It just showed up and then now it's gone. It was there so long, so I figured it was just a reflection off of something, but now oh, it might be coming back. How big is it? All right, we're heading in the other side. Yep. Keep it low, though. You're gonna come back all the way again? No, we're only going into that circle, and then we're gonna come straight back out. That's what I meant. You're going, coming back out the same way you're going in. Yes. This is a guardian. He is supposed to uh, judge if you're pure enough to enter this section of the woods. And if he doesn't, he imposes bad thoughts of things into your head to scare you and turn you back. This is the shaman part of the woods. So this is the Indian burial mounds and stuff. There's stacked stones and everything up in here. Alright. Safe passage. After paying tribute, as instructed, to the guardian of this side of the forest, we made our way to the top of the earthen pyramid where we noticed a much higher level of EMF. This is supposed to be a pyramid, she said. Like an earthen pyramid. See, we climbed up, now we're on top of it. Yeah, we're by the power lines, but they're going kind of the other way. See right here. I mean, there's energy here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, but look, if you pick it up, it's gone. Mm -hmm. You know, if we were picking up, oh, look at it, it goes away all together. Okay, so that shaman circle should be up there. This is the king's burial mound. This thing just buried. Oops, I'm sensing a Native American spirit. Chief? 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 He's here. He's not. This thing went down. I'm getting a sense of a different Native American though. But you know how I'm spooky? I told you I could feel things and know things. Is there a Native American here? Chief, or any Native Americans are here, we're friendly, we're not going to hurt you. Is there something you want to tell us? Was this your land at one time? Are you buried here?
Is it all right if we are here? Do you want us to go? Uh, oh. Are you male? Oh my. Is there more than one of you? Shit, shit, shit. Do you want us to leave? We'll leave if you want us to go. All right, we'll leave. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. That's interesting. Wow. Although we didn't get a clear answer as to who or what was communicating with us, it made it very clear that it did not want us there. So we headed back across the clearing to the other side of the forest. On the way out of the woods, we stopped to have one last encounter with something by the fairy tree. Mm -hmm.
or it's a portal. See, that's what they said, like, little things like that are portals. Hmm. It's going up the longer we stay here, you know. Is there something here with us? Were you human? Did you used to live in this land? Did you come here from another land? Are you from a parallel universe? Are you a fairy? It's lit up higher. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not as clear as the other guy, but. Can you show yourself? <laughs> oh, can you? Do you feel threatened? No. Are you curious? Can you come towards the thing with the lights and make all the lights light up? Are there a lot of you here? Do you live in a house? You live in a house. Okay. Is your house in this forest? Are we invading in your house? You want us to leave? No. Doesn't seem to want us to leave. That's a white thunder. That was a truck, I think. Are we okay to be here? Is it? Go ahead. Is it your choice or not that we're able to be here? Hmm. Could you make us leave if you didn't want us here? Oh. oh. Would you like us to leave more M&Ms? All right. Do you want us to put them by this tree that has a hole underneath? Do you want one more orange M&M or one more red one? Would you like a different color? What about blue? Are you the guardian of the forest? Yes. Thank you for letting us in your forest. Thank you. Your forest is beautiful, by the way. Thank you for having us here. We're going to go now. You have a good night.
Doppelsperger. Ja. Do you hear the coyotes? Yeah. We are coming straight out right now. So what what exactly did you see though? Like an eyeball over there? Where was it over there? No, nope. over by that tree. And then right like a foot that side of the tree. And then when I was talking to you up there. Yep. Um, a car came, or a truck came down that road with a boat behind it yep, and I lit up that whole about. thing and it went away. And ah. it did that before when I said, oh, it's gone. But then when I was talking to you and it came back, a car came it, down that road, lit up the whole thing, and then he went, he, then he was, when he came back, then he was a little bit further back in. Because I'm like, now oh, is he there, isn't he? And, when All right. we first started, I just looked over there and I saw it, and it wasn't there in the very beginning. And well, I'm we like, said, well, we that's had... new. So, I'm like, well. And then, after I talked to you, the second time the, the truck, the, yeah, the truck and the boat came, and then he kind of went back further, and then I saw two red flashing lights, and then it was gone. How long so, ago? Right after I talked to you. Just now? No. Within his sky or on the ground? It was right, it's right in the just bushes. back further. Back where it's more dark. Because there's like a haze. Mm -hmm. Why don't we... the cars would come. You think we do man? That's not... There's only one, one eye, though. Well, it's still taking pictures. What's that? It's still taking pictures. Just clicked one of me. I hear cooking. Yeah. There's pictures. Not that many though. During the three week period that we left the trail cam active, it managed to only snap two pictures. That's not the weird part though. What's weird is it didn't take any pictures of us setting up the camera. Or when we went back about a half hour later when we forgot to place the apple as bait. It did take pictures of me taking down the camera. We explored all options on this. At first, we thought someone had deleted or swapped the memory card. When we returned home, I ran a data recovery on the card and retrieved all pictures from our other two locations in the woods, but no new pictures from the three week span, proving that this was the original card and no pictures had been deleted. If the camera trigger was set too high and the capture angle by the apple, it should still have captured myself setting up the camera and standing in front of it setting the GPS location on my phone. The reason behind the lack of photos remains a mystery. Mary Sutherland, renowned author and local expert on the Burlington Haunted Woods, offers tours and tonight the CAPS team is going on just such a tour. A lot of people have though, is they don't believe me. And, and that, that doubt will put a wall up and cut you off from your camera. So you just have to believe that you're going to get the pictures and then shoot. And if you feel something, that's when you want to shoot. Don't second guess, just shoot. You know, digital cameras, you can get 100 pictures or 200 pictures, you know? So just shoot. And um, what we're why this area is as strong as it is, is at one point in time, Burlington actually used to be, the ocean or the sea used to come right, this was an ancient seaport. And Chicago was underwater. And the sea came right up here. And then what you're in here, this is an ancient sea bed, the swamp area. And you see that pointed hill up there? That's the pyramid that the, that nature has taken over. Okay, so and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be walking up to that pyramid. Now what you would think would take about a half an hour to get there, probably it's going to take maybe 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Because you're going to be going through these um, different times, different timelines. 
With a group of 16 eager to experience the wonders of the forest and bringing a whole lot of positive energy, it didn't take us long to get our first taste of what would be in store. Oh, oh, she might have a weird oh, there it is. Look oh at my God. God. Look at her. <laughs> she had an unexplained camera malfunction. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Oh, yeah? It's split what? right in half. Did you see it? Uh -huh. What a matter, Jerry. I don't know how if it goes, we give you fun of it. Right. Yeah. Fun of women have upwards. <laughs> Guy, do it a couple more times. She's going to actually video it. Okay. Yeah, just film her screen. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Should I go back to there? I'm going to walk. Oh. That's creepy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are you guys getting? Just come right in front of the camera. Oh, my gosh. Now you're way far apart. But you're actually standing together, but the camera shows you're far apart. First yeah. step on the tour would be the fairy tree, where each member of the group placed an offering while Mary took pictures of them. While interacting with the fairy realm, some people seem to disappear on the pictures, while others are visited by fairies. I was the first person to ever found this place. Okay. And um, I had a car come to me one time right there, uh -huh. car and told me that they needed to show me something. Sorry. Okay. And uh, no, they brought me out here. And uh, that time I wasn't even into paranormal, really. And they brought me out here. And, uh, I just, uh, I mean, am I going next, I guess? I, think I, said it long I need a lot of people. <laughs> I need light so I can see where I'm going. All I heard was something. I got to steal those shoes like that. The only thing is, the camera, the is the what camera context it was. Don't step on the mom's light. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What happened? I didn't get you. Oh. You want to walk back? Yeah, I'm, walk <laughs> I'm sorry. He's quick and sneaky. <laughs> Okay, go back in further and then come out. Must be that's where you guys are tripping something. That creates the phenomenon. What happened? Are you the more down to earth guy? Look at that. Usually, yes. Other group? Yeah. 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 And then afterwards, you take the pictures, you go home, and you tear them apart. <laughs> you know, that's the time to be critical. But if you want good pictures, you have to have the mind of a child and, and the wonderment. I should uh -huh. say the wonderment of a child. <laughs> and if you can do that, you'll get these pictures. Look at how many pictures we've gotten tonight. You know, you ask why. Well, this is why. Now, when you're looking for ley lines and energy streams, you look at uh, how, how nature works. It uh, grows in a path of least resistance. So here's a good example. There's an energy stream or ley line coming right through here. And as this tree grew, it felt the energy and grew around it. And you can, in the daytime, you can actually trace how that, those ley lines are running through here. A shaman told me about that. He says, Bends that way too, right there. Yep. But always watch for these curves. He says, if you watch nature, you'll know exactly what's going on. See back in there, see how mm -hmm. that one's growing yeah. through? See those things you don't get to read about because they mm -hmm. don't share this. Get off it. Uh oh, I oh, getting pushed. See, I walk really loose so that when spirit wants to touch me or move me, yeah. I can, do, you know, it's like a tree in the wind, you know, so if you see me going back or something like that, that's because I'm being pushed by spirit. A lot of EMF too. Sorry. Is there? Yeah. I have camera lights up, yeah. Yeah, you definitely have a lot of EMF in this area. Yeah. We didn't up back over there when we came out from by the tree bypass. I know you are, but I trip and then you hit me, so. No, there's something going on in this area. Yeah. Are you getting lift You guys are getting pushed around. Oh, uh, yep. I just got a creep up in my Yeah, there's something here. Hmm. This whole area isn't natural. This path is off. 
some of this on like an alternate reality or something. I mean, it's almost perfect, but not quite. Something's off. I picked it up right away. Yeah, I'm getting like, right, right where you two are standing. Yeah, I'm getting. Uh, you're also standing on a hill. You might want to yeah, come around off that at least. Be. Yeah, no, that's not it. Though. It is for her. It oh yeah, me. there's. Um, I'm like really off balance. Yeah, really, yeah. really off balance. Uh -huh. They're pushing you around. I mean, I'm. We floppy. got some activity up here. I'm that's what's going on. Floppy, you guys might but, want to take know. some pictures in there. We got some pretty good activity up here. It's right before the bridge, the troll like, bridge. Um, you know, yeah, it worse, spikes to worse red. Than the, the I got swamp, a to red. What's know? that banging? Yeah. Did you ever hear that in here? Yeah, that's yeah. nothing. Probably. Like a <laughs> drum beat, kind of. I didn't hear that. Out. We've had that every time we come in and I've find like a lot of like bigfoot activity yeah. with like branches cracking and stuff. There's like a a. a boom, 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 boom. No, I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. But Sorry, I do I know that a lot of people you. have told me that they per asked me if I've heard the drum beats, and it's like, no, I've never heard them. There. There. Oh, there Did was, you hear that? I heard it. It sounds like a rhythmic drum beat. Yeah. <laughs> there. Mm hmm. Yeah. You guys hearing that uh, drum beat? And it's always right around. Well, but that's uh, spirits pushing you around. Yeah, I've been having I'm, that happen a lot. It's like you, you've lost your equilibrium. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Bridge. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, here. Okay. Got pushed. Sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to light your way, but I can't. I just want to make sure everybody gets across it, so. Oh, cobweb in my head. <laughs> oh, that's another thing, too. I'm ahead of you guys, and if there's any cobwebs, yeah. I'm breaking them up as I'm going through. <laughs> you missed that one. <laughs> so if you're you're Sorry. feeling cobwebs, that's not cobwebs you're feeling. Okay. What it is, is it's, uh, it's uh, spirit touching your face. Yeah. Just running their fingers on your face. Yeah, it was through my hair. And right down here, right off that hill, charge. then it got to maybe right that where you're shining right there oh. on that tree. He got just a little palm, the, the green, the green branch of the tree in front of it, where the double branch is, probably that close. He stopped and he took off that way, but he broke a bunch of trees coming down and he was screaming. And um, he used um. Oh, what do they call that? Infrasound on me. Because mm -hmm. I couldn't, I, I was paralyzed. Mm -hmm. I, and I couldn't scream for Brad. No. It's kind of like the Oz effect. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. Was, something's in here. Something's going on. Mary, there's a... Something up there. All right. Yeah. No, it's gone. There's something right in the middle of the screen behind that tree there. Is that when it shows up red? Yeah, the the redder or orange or yellow it is, the hotter it is. It was where I was pointing at, right? In that area? Kind of. Like where I said something strange going on up there? Yeah, kind of. Well, yeah, we thought there he was again. There he is. The big yellow thing is just a residual on like the tree. tree. But, yeah. but, it, well, but it looks like something moving right there. Are you shining a light? No. I am. Where? Straight ahead. You want to head up farther? Yeah. I don't know where you are. But you see, we <laughs> very center of the screen. But we tracked him right up through there, and then he was there was some leaves up there, and he, and he had a big old butt crack to where he'd been sitting up there. Mm -hmm. it should be straight up, like at the bottom of the at the top of the ridge. It should be like standing. Yes. There's the two yellow trees, but then in between it, there's something mm -hmm. yellow dark in there that's mm -hmm. moving. Oh, I see the red. The yeah, I can see something in there. Oh, okay. I could feel it. Mm -hmm. I said there's something going on. Right in back area. here, we were like all getting dizzy in the head. Yeah. Uh -huh. All of us are feeling it. Yeah, yeah. that could be hyper. We were too. Mm -hmm. too. Really then we get up here, and I says there, I'm feeling something that's all mm -hmm. around me. And then 
You pulled off the uh, the clear, put it up there, and there it was. You have all just come in here all the time, you know, to visit with us in the group. Thanks. And then, of course, I wrote about it, mm -hmm. and the government picked up on it, started coming in the plane. And after that, the UFOs quit coming in. Okay. What is that light on the bubble there? Like sitting right there in the sky, just flashing and pulsing. That's that does a, not yeah, look no, that's a plane. There's a lot of UFO sightings here. It's like a bright light. It goes bright and it goes dim bright. That's a cloud. That one is weird. weird. Look at it, how it's like a scuttle bug. See it? It's not flying like a regular plane. Watch it. See it? See it? How it's wobbling? That's a UFO. Yeah. That's a UFO. In a hand, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. That big one. It oh, kind of right. dipped down there. Yeah, it's doing that. Well, let's take a picture. Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, don't you know, I suppose we could do that yeah. since it is kind of like a job. But yeah, no watch it, it's like a, it's not going straight, it's dropping down, moving to the right, moving to the left, just like no, a, just like one of those it's right there, yep. on a pond, huh? Look yeah, at how it did it now. Yeah. See how it sped up and slowed down? And the and there it goes light. again, speeding up. Yeah, that's a UFO. It does look yeah, like a plane, but it's here. flying weird. Yeah, but they make themselves well, you, look you, like you, a plane. You'll hear, you'll hear some of them planes up with it. They do that all the time. They, they they make themselves look like a plane. And it's coming up. But they're not. You can see it through the trees there. Taken off. Well, a lot it comes of times over here and turns off. Mm -hmm. You know, they look like a plane. You think it's a plane? Well, I've seen enough of them that I, I know. Any stroke but or people take pictures of them, and they're not there. Totally invisible. This is an ancient burial mound. It's either a king that's been buried here, royal family, or a shaman. It is a shamanic burial though, and it's rock, a rock mound. Rock mounds predate earthen mounds. And this probably goes back, these people, from what the Indian, local Indians said, that these people that had this area here that lived back in ancient times were the red-haired giants. And they said that their population was as thick as the leaves on the trees. What happened to them? Well, that's for all of us to figure out. All right. <laughs> we present you with tobacco. Whoever is here as tribute in the hopes that our presence will be recognized and honored this time. In front of you are three devices that can communicate with you if you so choose, as we hope that you did last time that we were here. The higher the lights go on these meters, we will indicate that a positive answer to our questions. If you understand, could you please make the lights light up? Is this the Indian chief you talked to last? Be respectful. Thank you for communicating with us. Are we welcome in your area today? If we are welcome here to communicate with you, can you please make the lights light up? If we are not welcome here, can you please make the lights light up and we will leave?
Was this your land at one time? Are you disturbing your land? Were you a shaman? Mary led our group deeper into the woods to the shamanic circle, where we stopped for s'mores around the campfire with some otherworldly friends. This area, Mary says, is known to have powers of healing and high energy. One of the other group members brought along a spirit box for contacting the other side. In these two pictures, you can see what Mary says is the spirit coming down and contacting the box. What's your name? What? Did you hear the man? Yeah. What did the man say? I think he said Dan. Who? Did you say Dan? Hello? He said they said hello. Is Dan with us? Her feet. We would love to talk with you. My name's Diana. What's your name? Is that Richard? Mm -hmm. Richard, hello. Are you with anyone else? See, now this, this is spirit making contact with Diana. Do you have a loved one here with us? That's the spirit coming down into the box. And yeah. see then all the extra clouds and fuel on it. That's what I felt was that energy by the rock stack. So. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's a very nice 16 people at the fire. Somebody walked up behind her over here. here because I backed up against the tree to make sure that I didn't and that somebody was walking back there. I thought it was him and I saw you walk by and I thought Where's the bright light coming from? Oh. I thought it was him and then through the binoculars I'm filming down there and I could see the flare in his hand and I'm like mm -hmm. he's not back there. So then I walked back down there. But there was crack, crack, crack and then just like somebody walking. And I thought everybody was up here. Oh, I've been up there for a little bit. And Ethan's been standing by that tree and Derek was in front of me. Down the far trail? I never crossed the fire. I was always on that side. Oh, but were you down there when he walked across the fire? Because I thought, oh, there's Ethan, but where's Barn? Okay, he's back here, because I can hear him walking around. No, because you were right over, he was right over there. Yeah, well then I kind of went that way. I've never gone to that side of the fire at all. So, I don't know. Yeah, so whatever your mom heard is unaccounted for. As the night grew later, we doused the fire, and our group made our way back out of the woods to say our goodbyes to the woods and to Mary. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Yeah, it was very nice meeting you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Because there's so many people that go up there. The, the woods is very, it's very strange when it comes to this. The woods, it, it doesn't feel comfortable because it can read your 
your intentions. Mm -hmm. The woods itself. So particular... The woods itself is its own living entity. So you're saying it's particular about things? It's very cautious. Mm -hmm. And it usually doesn't show this side of itself unless it feels comfortable with you. Mm -hmm. That's how come with me. I've been up there so much. And they know me. They trust me. I'm kind of like the guardian, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm always, you know, I'm doing what they request me. And so they trust me. And so what they showed you is, I'm tr I, trust me, they don't show that to most people. Most people, they can go up there and take it. 10,000 pictures won't get, won't get anywhere. And then there's others that if they feel comfortable with you, then they'll show you. After a month of research, investigation, and following up with eyewitness accounts, can we say for certain that these woods hold unexplained creatures or phenomenon? We'll let the evidence that we've captured speak for itself. Our investigators had numerous accounts of personal activity in here from things that we can't quite explain. So, we hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll see you next time.